So one way to think about 4 times negative 2 is make 4 groups of negative 2. Here's one group of negative 2. And here's a second group, and a third, and a fourth group. There are 8 negative chips in total, so 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Let's now look at a more complex example, negative 4 times negative 2. We can think of the negative sign before the 4 as telling us to remove 4 groups of negative 2. But we don't have any negative chips to remove, so what do we do? Well, we can always add 0 pairs because they have no value. So after adding a bunch of nothings, we break them apart. and now we can remove four groups of negative two. We are left with eight positive counters, so negative four times negative two equals positive eight. This way of modeling integer multiplication works well for some people, but not for everyone. But it's another great way to help students visualize what's going on rather than just memorizing rules.